everybody hello and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel this is your beautiful your wonderful lady lady t and that is on period to all my returning subscribers thank you guys for your consistency thank you for your likes thank you for your subscriptions because basically without an audience i do not have a channel and you guys have got wonderful news to share with you just yesterday we hit 300 subscribers you guys it is an achievement for me simply because it makes me realize that there are people that take their time to watch my videos there are people that take their time to scroll through my channel and because of that i am truly truly grateful and to those that have not subscribed your subscribing is for free like why what are you waiting for i'm giving you three seconds now to subscribe to subscribe and to subscribe you guys i was having a conversation with my friend yesterday we we're just talking about life in general we we're talking about life things that we've experienced in our 20s things that we're going through and what we hope for in the future and then i just had a moment of, of thinking about the experiences that i went through personally as daboka like literally guys the decisions that i made experiences that i went through and then i was like okay fine this is a very great conversation uh, something that I, a topic that i would like to sit down and share with my online family and then here i am today discussing with you guys or probably sharing with you guys things i wish i had known before entering my 20s conversations i wish i had had before entering into my 20s you know i'm not putting any blame on my parents no they literally did an incredible a splendid job in bringing me up and i'm truly grateful for them because they shaped me into the woman that i am their morals their teachings they shaped me into who i am today and i'm forever grateful for that but then there are some conversations that i wish i had known conversations i wish i had had before entering into my 20s things i wish i had known before entering into my 20s and on today's video i'll be sharing with you all things i wish i had known conversations i wish i had had and hopefully you're going to enjoy this video don't forget to like to subscribe and to comment let's get the drums rolling number one on my list is I wish someone would have told me that I won't have life figured out by 25 and that is perfectly fine. That is perfectly okay. You guys, I'm turning 25 in two months from now. When I was 18, I had my whole life planned out. I thought by the time I, I turned 25, I'll be married, having kids, having a stable job, having a stable career, having a car, having a house. I thought all of those things would have been accomplished by the time that I turned 25. And I had this much pressure on myself that by the time I turned 25 and I would have not ac accomplished any of this, then it means I would have failed in life. But now that I'm turning 25 pretty soon, I'm thinking to myself that no, I've not accomplished any of that. And that is perfectly fine because life is a journey. Life is a process. Because of just simply because I've not accomplished any of this does not mean that I'm a failure. But no, it means that I'm still growing because growth is never an ending process. I wish someone would have told me that, no, it's it's very much possible that you turn 25 before being married. It's very much possible that by the time that you, that you are 25, you won't even be owning any degree from varsity to whatever it is. But it does not mean that you are a failure. And that is very much okay. Number two is, I wish someone would have sat me down and told me that life needs you to have a thick skin and don't be a push over. You guys, this is a very important conversation I wish I had had. Life needs you to have a thick skin because this life, it needs ama comrades. This life needs you to be strong because it's going to bring the hardest situations. It's going to put you in a place whereby you think to yourself, it's okay, fine, I'm stuck in between a rock and a hard place. What do I do? And if you do not have a thick skin, trust me, you're going to be a crybaby. You're going to be a pushover. You're going to care about everyone's opinions and forget about your inner opinion literally life needs you to have a thicker skin life needs you not to be a push over push over life needs you but even if you are down and, and out you are able to stand up and be like okay fine i'm going to try again i'm going to do this life thing once more so life needs you to have a thick skin another thing i wish i had known is that some people will use your kindness and some people will take advantage of you and that is very much true life is not black and white just because you are kind it does not mean that everyone is going to appreciate you for that you know some are just going to use you simply because you're kind some are going to take advantage of your kindness you just need to be smart you need to have the spirit of discern discernment in order for you not to be used and in order for you not to be left in in, in spaces where you're asking yourself okay fine was i used why did they use me you just need to have the spirit of discernment and you just need to be wise because people out there they're going to try to use you and some will, some will, some will use you 
but you just need to be wise the next thing i wish i had known or conversations i wish i had had is that emotional intelligence is important acquire it you guys i am learning this of lately because trust me when i am angry i deal with situations when i'm angry if you frustrate me trust me i'll come for you i do not care what i say whether my emotions are high or whatever the case may be and i feel like it has had most of my relationships be it romantic or platonic had someone told me the importance of emotional intelligence i feel like i could have been handling situations in a much better and in, in a much wiser way so emotional intelligence is very important acquire it it's a skill that you need to have acquire emotional intelligence another thing is number five is standing out of the con or out of the crowd is not easy and you will not always be applauded for doing so and that is fine trust me just because you are doing something different from the rest of the world it does not mean that everyone is going to clap hands for you they are going to place you on the pulpit they're going to be building podiums for you uh, congratulating you applauding you for sending out no that's not the case not everyone is going to applaud you for sitting out of the crowd and that is perfectly fine some people will actually think that you are foolish some people will think that you are stupid some people even question your thinking capacity the thinking capacity it's okay fine why are you literally doing something different from everyone else so standing out of the crowd is never easy and not you are not going to be applauded for it and that is perfectly fine number six on my list is this is the biggest thing a biggest conversation this is the biggest thing i wish i had known entering into my 20s and that is you are supposed to be your biggest cheerleader you guys you are supposed to be your biggest cheerleader always vouch for yourself trust me if you are still waiting for validation from people hey you're going to wait we're going to wait for eternity if you are still waiting for words of affirmation or probably waiting for affirmation from human beings that will not happen anytime soon you need to be your biggest cheerleader because everyone is busy with their own lives you know you need to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you can do it that's the, that's the biggest thing i wish i had known entering into my 20s that no People are never going to be my biggest cheerleader. I have to cheer myself up. I have to be my big. I have to root for myself, even in situations where I think oh, it's not possible. I have to vouch for. I have to be able to vouch for myself and be like, "Girl, you can do this." That's something I wish I'd known. That's a conversation I wish I'd had. That no, in this life you need to be your biggest cheerleader. The next thing, number eight on my number seven on my list is not everyone is going to understand your vision, and that is fine. Hmm not everyone is going to understand your vision because that vision has been planted in you for a reason and it's perfectly fine for people not to understand that vision yes they need to see that vision in yes they will see the results of the vision but just because they don't understand it it does not mean it does not mean that your vision is wrong or it does not it does not mean that you're being ambitious or probably you're being over ambitious or probably you're being crazy no not everyone is going to understand your vision and you do not need to probably underestimate yourself you do not need to start questioning yourself it's okay fine why do i have this vision why do i have these goals no not everyone is going to understand your vision because it's your vision not theirs so it's perfectly fine for them to understand it it's only it's only they only have to see the fruits of the vision they even if they don't understand it so not everyone is going to understand your vision and it's perfectly okay number nine on my list is never force connections you guys what i mean by this is never force friendships and if energies don't match live trust me in the past i've tried to force friendships in the past i've tried my level best to force friendships to an extent of what i'll be calling the other person i'll be taking up on the other person it will be me offloading my whole life to the other person but well as i could sense that no our energies they don't match but simply because i had this deep longing of having solid friendships i had this deep longing of deeper connections i kept on forcing myself into the other person up until i realized you know it's perfectly fine for for some for, 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 for me for me not to connect with some people there is nothing wrong with that it, my energy and my personality will not match to everyone's energy and personality and that is very much okay i should not have a problem with it i should not beat myself with it because of that and then the next one on my list is this one is very important listen to me very very carefully it's very important people change people grow people live and that is fine you know the saying that goes that, that goes around that says with him hey, hey people are snakes hey never trust your friends no guys that's not the case the friends that you had in primary probably right now you're no longer talking and that is perfectly okay they were your friends in primary for that they served their purpose 
by being friends in your primary you don't need them right now because you're an adult uh -uh. it's okay people change people grow there's nothing wrong with that just because now you're no longer talking to x y and z it doesn't mean you have developed an attitude towards you probably they're not bad people or because you're not a bad person uh -uh. people change people grow people live and that is perfectly fine as long as they save their purpose in your life and you save your purpose in their life it's okay for you to live it's okay for you to outgrow them to outgrow to out to outgrow them it's okay for you to change it's perfectly fine because people are just like seasons some are meant to last forever some are meant to just pass by your life and that is okay don't have a problem with it don't beat yourself for that the next one i wish i had learned or conversation i wish i had had was always leave room for disappointment i am one optimistic person i am one person who builds castles in the air i am one person who counts their chickens before you hatch and this has had me in so way in it, this has had me in ways that are so painful you know you guys always leave room for disappointment it's okay to have positive thinking it's okay to be optimistic but always leave room for disappointment and never count your chickens before they hatch because trust me you will burn and that will be very very painful the next conversation i wish i had had or the next lesson thing i wish i had known was matters of the heart are very complicated and they need discernment to be honest with you guys growing up in a typical seventh day adventist home Growing up in a typical African home, I never had relationship talks with my parents. I never had the sex talk with my parents. And I feel like these are topics that I wish I could have had with them before entering into my 20s. Because trust me, matters of the heart are very complicated. You know, you get to a point in life where you ask yourself, oh, what's your if relationships are this hard like how did my parents make it through marriage like you say you even ask yourself what is it even worth it because trust me matters of the heart are very much complicated you will never fully understand the other gender if you are a female you never fully understand how men think if you are a guy you never fully understand how female think you literally you get to a point where you ask yourself what's okay fine how do i even navigate this thing called relationships how do i navigate relationships as an in my big age matters of the heart are very complicated and they are very sensitive and they need discernment not just any discernment they need spiritual discernment this is a conversation i wish i had had before entering into my 20s the next conversation that i wish i had had is a very very important conversation you know before entering into my first relationship usually i started dating when i was 18 that is a year after matric and that's when i started that's when i had my first relationship you guys before then, I used to hear people saying, ah, I'm not eating because I'm heartbroken. Or probably I would see my bigger sisters, my older sisters crying, you know, like being so grumpy, sad because they broke up with their boyfriend. I never used to understand all of that. It would be me thinking, Uta, these guys are clowning. Why would you cry over a breakup? Why would you cry over a relationship? Hey, Papa. I wish someone would have told me that heartbreaks are real. Heartbreaks are real and they are painful. Because had I known that, I think I was going to get into relationships with a different perspective. I wasn't going to be over, um, I wasn't going to build castles in the air and not leave any room for disappointment. I wasn't going to have everything planned out. I wasn't going to be expecting a lot from the other person without actually seeing their actions, you know, because heartbreaks are real and it, they really had they had to a point that you and you that, 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 that like literally guys they had to a point that you feel like taking your heart and putting it aside and probably getting another heart and stuff like literally they had to a point whereby you feel like telling your parents that no i'm crying but i can't even relate to you what's happening because you guys are still young like literally you won't understand you won't comprehend what i'm going through because wow heartbreaks are real and they really had to be honest and then the last thing I wish I had known was <laughs> the last thing I wish I had known was accept yourself for who you are and appreciate yourself. You guys, I feel like I never had this conversation in depth about accepting myself because mind you, I stutter a lot. I speak fast. So there are times whereby I wish that probably I was a slow speaker. I wish that probably I didn't stutter. I wish probably I had a different appearance. I wish I was this. I wish I was that. Like, I wish that was a conversation I could have had. That no, just like there are different colors in a rainbow. 
It's okay for you to be different from other people. It's okay for you to stutter. It's okay for you to speak fast. Just embrace yourself and love yourself for who you are. That's a conversation I wish I had had. And then this is the end of the video today. And these are the things that I wish I had had before turning my 20s, before getting into my 20s. These are conversations I wish I had had before entering into my 20s. Probably I could have entered my 20s with a different perspective. Probably I could have done things way better. So if you're literally in your early 20s or probably if you're 19, turning 20, trust me, life does not end at 25. But literally life is a journey and life is a process. If you, if you are 25 and you have not achieved anything, you are not a failure, but keep on pushing. If you are in a relationship and you're going through hardships just know that matters of the heart are very complicated they need they need discernment if you're going through a heartbreak know that it's not the end of the world you can pull through if you have you if you feel you if you feel undermined if you feel disrespected know that you are worth you are worth more than you can think of trust me be your biggest cheerleader because no one is going to affirm you. No one is going to validate yourself. Be able to stand in front of the mirror and tell yourself that you are the best. Literally, that's what I'm learning those days. That I literally stand in front of the mirror and I tell myself that, no, I am the best. There is no one else that if someone else can do it, I can do it 10 times better than them. I tell myself that as much as I might have my weaknesses, I'm working on them. That does not mean that I'm a failure. Thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment, to like, and to subscribe. I'm out of here and I'm going to be seeing you again next week with another video. Don't forget to tune in for next week's video. Thank you. I love you. I'm out of here. Boom, 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 boom.